Hello everyone. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to be turning this heap of crap into a rebreather system for the post-apocalyptic kit that I've got for Manpocalypse for Future's End. I may not use it in Future's End because it might be quite big and quite cumbersome, but at least it'll look cool. And that's all that's important. So my main plan is to get both of these, which are just some 99p money boxes which are a jip because you totally can't even get into them so to get to get your money back out again you gotta destroy them I've already started sanding this one up ready for spray tape them both together for a long piece which will go across the shoulders of my backpack i've got these bits of gubbins as well that i might just have sticking out fluted somewhere also got these are actually for doing petrol filtering that stuff not filtering for moving that stuff from one thing to another. Got some nice flexible tubing, which I might use for the rebreather system that I'm gonna be building into the mask. Also got some hose pipe from a washing machine. But basically, we're just gonna see how it goes. It's gonna be one of those junk builds, no more than a tenner, which they were 99p each. These were two pounds for both. Just bits of, bits of tap, really. Got some spray paints. Got everything I need. We'll see how we go. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just gonna, I've already scratched this one up which is a shame, so quite nice tins. But yeah, just so that the primer will hold on. Again, just trying to get as much of it. Headphone users, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get as much of this down, or rough, so that the primer will stick to it. That way I can spray it, spray it, um, a base primer gray, then hit it with a black, then hit it with a silver, and then re-sand it in places, and then it will look quite good, I think. I've also got some burnt umber, some crimson red, that was meant to be an orange, picked up the wrong one. And some other paints as well just to decorate them up. But it should be a rebreather which will sit across the top of the backpack. Um, it'll have, so it'll be about that wide so it'll fit quite nicely. And then gonna have a cable coming out of one side that'll go up to the side of the mask. Um, it should hopefully, I'm gonna try and have to build something that'll fit into there. We'll see how that goes. Don't know where this came from by the way, just found this in my house. That should be what happens, but we'll see about that. Okay, so I've sanded both of them down. That took longer than it probably should, and the ends. So that's how I'm gonna do it with both ends sealed up so I can then puncture a hole and put in a bung or something that will attach to it. I've got this, but I think this is a little bit too big, really, for the end, because I don't know what size thing I'm gonna end up putting in. Um, but now I'm just gonna hit it with some gray primer. Obviously outside, always spray paint outside. Spray paint? Always spray paint outside. Okay. Main problem was finding anything that fit in there. The closest thing I got was that juice bottle. Cut the nozzle off, flared it on the inside, shoved it into here, super glued it in place. That now, with loads of tape wrapped around it to widen it up, does actually screw in, which works quite nicely. I've got super glue all over my hands now. Well, that's gonna be fun. I then got one of these. So what I wanna do is attach this to it. Now this is the nozzles off of both of them glued together because it's really nice and flexible and really lightweight. But this as well, um, is a one-way valve so air comes in that one and vents out this one So I'm gonna have this on it, which will be quite cool as like a little port an exhaust port What I then did was cut one of these up, which is the squishy bits doing your fuel in That's gone round there uh, That's been super glued in place as well gives a nice attachment And then the last thing that I'm gonna do which is the bit that I've done now is I stuck a bit of super glue under it again after using some sellotape to make it wider um, because the super glue doesn't really hold too well is I've got a cable clamp which if I can sit it nicely should hold that in place very nicely just keep screwing that Ooh. there we go so that yeah that is not coming off that's good. Also, there's some super glue under the, um, the plastic bits. It also adds a little bit of flexibility because the top piece isn't rigid. Oh, that's not sitting down as much as I'd like. Um, but yeah, because it, it's not entire, entirely rigid, I'm slicing myself up on that. Um, it does allow it to move a little bit, which will be pretty good. Something I did realize is because the way I'm building this actually is entirely airtight. So when I have the mask on, I'm actually gonna be breathing through it. So that concerns me a little bit, but it should still be all okay. 
hopefully. But so now when you breathe through it, annoyingly it does work in reverse. So I breathe through this hole, not through this long cable, which is a bit annoying, but still gonna work, still gonna be pretty cool. Um, I might see if I can reverse it by taking this one apart. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, looking at it. But we'll see what we can do, won't we? Oh, also, I've sprayed up the tin outside, so now it's purely black. Ka-ching! Right, so I kind of got a bit in the zone and forgot to record. But that's the two tins taped together that have all been sprayed with an undercoat of primer, then dusted twice with black and then scuffed up again with some sandpaper, cut a hole in the top, and one of the little squeezy bits from the top of the fuel pumps I've just popped in the top of it um, heated up some screws and put them through the side to burn holes in it so you can actually breathe through it because it's, it's actually going to be how I breathe if I ever put the mask on um, then obviously that's only half the size chopped a hole in the side as well made sure all the metal pieces were out attached that through there just literally bunged it in used a bobby pin and some screws to make sure that really doesn't come out we've then got this bit that comes all the way up to here I had to custom build a little washer thing to fit over the top to hold that in place because the rubber that this is or the plastic this is made out of does not want to super glue down so that that attaches to that now hopefully indefinitely this is obviously the bracket to fit into the mask that we had so that now screws onto here like so bending upwards and then get your mask and hope that you've done all of the calculations to make sure everything aligns properly which just sort of does so obviously this is all going to be sprayed up apart from these pieces, the functioning parts, so like the output exhaust there. Um, but it does actually all work. The valves all work, you breathe from the tank on your back. That's gonna be, you're gonna make a strap for that. But listen, now from that, which should be pretty cool. I'm gonna build a little thing for that, a little chimney, so it's not just out like that. Um, but it should be pretty cool. Again, not finished yet. I got a lot further than I was meant to in day one. Okay, so it's now day three, I think, or day three of the build, it's a couple of days later. Now with the connector piece that attaches to the mask, obviously before I had that, that bent piece, however that you just would get caught on the shoulder. So I've had to cut that down, so we just had the, the outer cup. Again, flared the inside of a bottle, which is actually, actually just one of these bottles. I've taken the lid off, cut it there, used that flat bit, flared it back in and then shoved it in and super glued it down. It works fine again, more tape around it so it locks into the gas mask fitting. So that now works fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly show you how to age white stuff. So again, this side's already been done. It's really, really easy, really, really simple. You just need, I use burnt umber, just some acrylic. You need some tissue paper. Yes, tissue, not tissue, there's no H in it. And a brush. That's, that's literally it. So just get some of your burnt umber, splat it down, oh, put it over everything, fine. So if you get it, make sure the surface is all nice and crinkled as well, because that will hold the paint better. So you just whack it all over it, as messily as you can be, get a nice thick coat on it, in all the cracks and recesses that it, it creates. But yeah, this is this is a really really good technique, really really cheap, and works on anything that's got a textured surface. It'll look freaking cool, as you can see by the other side. And you can go over and do this multiple times um, in different colours, and that creates quite a nice layering effect as well, so you don't just end up with kind of the same coloration on there. If I had an orange, I totally would. Right, so let's just leave that like that. And then what you do is you set that to dry for like, I don't know, five minutes maybe? Right, I just touched up the plastic bit as well. The um, respirator cup, I guess it would be called. I added it into, so what you do now is you get Get your tissue and just dab. And just keep keep dabbing away. 
and that will remove the excess. In some cases as well, it leaves little bits of tissue, which is quite cool, so it adds, adds texture to it. And look at that, that's, that's grotty and horrible. It's exactly what we wanted. That's pretty good. Boom. Learned how to make old stuff or new stuff look fairly old. Ba ding That has also been done down some of the arm on it as well. So the arm. Oh, I've literally just got paint everywhere. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I did was I did the exact same effect down the entire arm of it along with some reds, some grey spray and some black spray just to kind of break it up from being, from being so clear. Same effect done to the nozzle attachment. And then this thing which I just painted up a little while ago, just to dab away at. It just creates a bit more of a, a textured surface than just the, the black spray that I normally do. Because I do normally just do a, uh, a silver mit under mist with a black top and that kind of works quite nicely, but something a little bit, little bit special this time, you know? Painting. Just as another quick demonstration, Demonstration. Here is obviously I've started to paint on the other side, but here's a standard nerf clip unpainted. Same nerf clip now, literally just grotted up, it's literally coated in acrylic paint. And then this is it now that it's all been kind of daubed off with some tissue. So it kind of just takes away from that harsh, harsh yellow. So with a bit of acrylic, still drying now. Um, but again, I might go in afterwards and hit it up again with another coat, possibly some different colours maybe make it a little bit darker, maybe just get some blacks in there as well. But that's how you treat those. So back onto gas mask. Ding! Okay, so we're back. I've actually got it affixed now to the backpack. So we've got the horrible effect there, some horrible corrosion looking around the edges here. I'm actually now gonna show you how to do this because I wanna do a bit more on this side probably as well. Um, I don't know if anyone's done it before, but it was basically an accident that, that while it was happening, I was like, ooh, ooh, that's cool. So inside here we just got my standard coat that I wear, but it's actually bolted through on the inside just in there. I don't know if you can see two points and that keeps it attached nice and firmly, obviously as long as there's something in there, which most of the time I could probably find some spare clothes or something just to fill out the back just so it's got some stuff in. Now onto the cool corrosion bit. Now this is a really, really simple thing, really, really easy to do. Okay, so there we have our edge that we're going to be doing. Now all you need for this is super glue and maybe a little bit of tissue. Yeah, literally just grab some super glue. Wait until it starts coming out, this bit always terrifies me. And then just run it, run it along the edges. Let it run, bring it out as far as you want it to go. I kind of want quite a, quite a long bit on this because it's meant to be a corroded edge. Now super glue actually sets with moisture, so you can exhale on it if you want to get it to set faster and then what I like to do then is just dab it then you end up giving it texture so just dab it until it becomes very tacky obviously it's super glue it won't take too long but then just sit back and wait And there we are. What you're left with then is this horrible, kind of quite rough textured area that looks like it's all corroded and horrible, but it's actually kind of cool. I've done a little bit of that around on the top of it as well. So let me shunt you around there, just on top of the air hose. I have also, because I realized I had so much cabling um, for the air hose, brought it around out the side, up and around the back. Done a little fastener there, which is just a little set of screws put in there again grimed up and I've got the hose coming around here which will be loose until I need it onto the vent system so the moment the exhaust port is up and now it's down so you breathe through there that obviously affixes to the attachment that I've made for the gas mask there and then the gas mask is good to go um, I've also obviously got the shoulder pad which I think you guys have probably seen just from me painting up and stuff that as well has been given another coat of slightly darker brown Again, just let it set in on all of the tape and everything to give that a really horrible grotty look. It's actually a lot darker than it seems on the camera. 
but that will wear off as well so you can keep adding more taking it away and if you're not happy with it just wash it off which is quite nice and handy also painted up the pouches for the so yeah that's that's what they look like kind of once they've finished drying a little bit more that one's had a little bit more off of it than the other one and um, this one was spray painted I'm not too happy with it but it'll do for what I need it to do but yeah painted these up grotted all these up again a really really watered down wash over a lot of the creases and then kind of dry brushing the outsides with a slightly darker as well so they look as though they have been through the mill just like the rest of my kit but what I'll probably do is do a full kit up and show you what it looks like oh just quickly as well I've also got I've got a nerf jolt as well that I'm slowly doing up as another bit again this has been um, brown washed just kind of grimed up it's not meant to be my primary my primary is obviously a different one but this is just to see how it worked on kind of a lighter background quite like it just looks grubby and it's grey and it's not it's not my main main weapon of choice but it's my last resort resort pistol that I'll be using at future's end it's okay does the job it still works quite nicely obviously I'll be shooting out there not here spare dart reserve though 